Okay, here's how to make your very own vacuum pump. As it happens, this is a 114th horsepower compressor. Uh, it was seized when it was removed. I flushed it with a WD-40, uh, changed the oil with uh, 3GS, which is the standard refrigeration oil, which for a vacuum pump is quite acceptable. It doesn't really matter if it happens to be on ester synthetic oil before. Um, assuming you've tested it electrically and it runs, the next thing to do, if you're not familiar with them, there are two suction pipes. One normally goes to the evaporator, that's for the returning gas. The other one, um, a straighter valve is fitted, so you can either make a vacuum or check the running pressure of it. And the third one is the discharge, that one is the one that pumps the air out. A uh, very easy way to check it, simply to connect it, not very noisy, and cover these two pipes. You feel it sucking your fingers on there, it's making a vacuum. It's working okay. Now you can always find out if you're not certain about which pipe is which, because the one that's blowing air out, this one, is the discharge pipe. Okay, so as assembly is a matter of personal preference and can take many shapes and forms, here's one I put together before. Uh, what is quite important on here, um, on this particular one, the metal frame, the suction on the compressor is connected through the frame and it makes its vacuum from here. So any water that's pulled out from the aquarium will go into this and will be later drained through this pipe here. Uh, to actually measure the vacuum on this one. vacuum is measured in inches or centimetres of vacuum. A full vacuum would be 76 centimetres or 30 inches. What I'm doing here is bleeding the air out at the moment. Tighten this down, open it so that it's pulling now from the compressor to here. You see it goes straight down. On the aquarium, it would take a few more minutes to, uh, or seconds, initially to evacuate the uh, empty space until it starts uh, pulling the water into the aquarium. This particular compressor is quite powerful. Um, it's about three-quarter horsepower. Uh, Danfoss, uh, originally Danish, now built in Germany. Um, it's one of the most reliable compressors on the market, actually. Uh, a simple stainless steel base mounted on uh, four pins on the frame so as not to puncture the frame. Uh, if you wanted to make it into an air compressor, um, you do this. Instead of taking it from the suction, you mount it on the discharge, mount the discharge into the frame here. You would then need a small pressure control set for about 120 psi to uh, regulate the air pressure. This can be used for small jobs around the house, especially good for cleaning the computer. Um, you have a filtered air supply on there with a small pistolet, and that can be used to clean the dust, which is a real killer on computers. Okay, we're using a new method of making the vacuum now. Start the vacuum pump. We can drop the water level a bit first. This is a quarter ventil, uh, simply pushed into a rubber bung in the top of the aquarium. It's self-sealed. Pull it out, air comes in, drops the water level. Push it back in again. Open the vacuum pump. The 
and adjust the quarter tight to the level you want to bring the water to. Now sucking water in. We'll pull this out a fraction. And you can bring the uh, water right up to the top. 